We are just about 12 days away from the annual Augusta Half Marathon 10K and 5K, where downtown Augusta will come alive with runners of all calibers, and there's still time to participate as well. Michelle Naval Pippen is with the Augusta Sports Council, and she's here with us this morning to give us all the details. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning, Michelle. Yeah. Uh, all right, so tell us a little bit about the Half Marathon. Yeah, so um, our race is next Saturday, February 25th. It's our fifth 15th annual um, event. It's the um, only sporting event that the Sports Council actually runs, manages, and directly benefits from um, as far as the registration um, fees from it. Um, so that's a really cool thing. And we are expecting about 1,400 participants. So between the 5K, the 10K, and the half marathon for that day. Wow. Wow, what a large event. And this is actually important because this marathon is an official qualifying event for the AJC Peachtree Road Race. Right, so all three of our race courses, the 5K, the 10K, and the half marathon are all USATF certified, which means you can um, run our race and you know use it as a qualifying event to, to get into Peachtree. So. So what kind of training goes into a process like this uh, for people who would like to participate? Yeah, so a lot of people kind of see it as a, a new year um, new year goal. So people have been training, you know, I'd say like during the colder months of November and December um, and kind of just depending on the, the level. I know the, coach, the couch to 5K um, training plan is really popular and our friends at Fleet Feet have been um, promoting their, um, I'd say like winter training runs, so it kind of just depends on how active you are <laughs> on uh, how much training you need. So, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if you are going to participate, start doing some walking running now <laughs> so you don't hurt yourself the yeah. day of. Lay off the no baked cheesecake for a little while. <laughs> it's so good, that. though. Um, so there's so many people going to come to this event. You said around 1,400. Mm -hmm. How important is it to hold this event? Because um, it's going to bring in so much revenue to the CSRA as well. Yeah, and, and one of the themes that we have that we're really pushing this year is to promote our local businesses. Um, local vendors, so everything from what we're having at the post event um, celebration at the Augusta Common, it's, you know, different local breweries and, um, you know, different local groups and charities that we're just really trying to promote local as much as possible. And with every race comes the detours and the closures, mm -hmm. so people can expect a couple of those for the downtown area uh, when this happens in just about a week and a half. What, uh, what can they expect? Yeah, so we'll be posting our um, affected roads um, and detour times on our website um, here pretty soon. This week, we've sent out mailers and route information to our businesses and residents that are going to be affected for a little bit, uh, you know, during the during the race while these runners are, are passing through their, their residence or business. Um, and, you know, we'll be posting it definitely on our social media. Um, so if anybody has questions, they can always reach out to us at the Sports Council. All right, and let's just go over the details really quick. And is there a deadline that people need to register? Yeah, so we'll have online registration until next Tuesday. Okay. Um, and then we will have last minute race expo at um, our expo and expo slash packet pickup at um, Augusta and Company at 1010 Broads, so our home. Um, and that'll be on Thursday and Friday of next week. All right, AugustaHalf.org is where you get all the information for the half marathon, the 10K and the 5K. Michelle from the Augusta Sports Council, Thank thanks you. for joining us. Thank here. you.